I need to cool it down. Every chef knows there are unbreakable rules in the kitchen, but what happens when you actually break those rules? Do the fried chicken gods rain fiery vengeance upon you and your family, or are they just arbitrary myths peddled from chef to chef just waiting to be busted? To find out, we've assembled a highly trained team of serious culinary professionals <laughs> to put them to the test. Wait, 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 wait. We're cooking what? Because this is my- <laughs> Myth Munchers! Yeah. Ready to bust fried chicken mitts again? Yeah! yeah. Uh, but first, we have a brand new product out to fans. It's very fantastic. Oh, this is the Mythical God. Kitchen Online University. We have a brief sample of our course catalog right here. Of course, I am president. My word is law. You might be wondering, like, how much does this cost? $100,000 with a very legitimate degree. That is, I think, an absolute reasonable what? price. Campus, we're more of a BYOC situation here. Bring your own. So that, uh, we got our security guards right here so you can feel safe on the campus. Courses include playing with fire and Trevor. Trevor is not the teacher of the course per se, but he is sort of one of the props that gets lit on fire. We have Spice World, a comprehensive look at Tony Sashery, all about a biography of his life. The physics of the palm heel strike, and then Nicole's class, which I think you're really gonna be excited about. This is fight for your right to food fight to be right debate with Nicole. Yeah! Woo! Wow. Sign me up! Wow, Hot good stuff. <laughs> Higgity damn. All right, so. No, there were a lot of fried chicken myths that we didn't get to in the original video, right? But now we're testing more myths. We're gonna see what the best batter is. Do you do whole egg? Do you do egg white? My personal favorite. Water, which is a TikTok trend, used a lot in Southeast Asian cookery, or do we stick with buttermilk? Do you actually have to fry your chicken in batches? <laughs> Crazy, we're gonna see what happens when you actually overcrowd a pot of hot oil and it will not be dangerous. <laughs> then we're gonna see what the best frying oil is. This is something that we did not get into. Peanut oil, the OG that we use, my personal favorite, but what about Crisco? A lot of big Southern tradition here, and you can't test that without lard. Mm. Farmer John, hot dang. Greasy. And then, of course, we're gonna see what the best starch to actually coat your fried chicken is. We got AP flour, and then we're gonna be cutting that with half corn starch, rice flour, and potato starch. We're gonna get into it. And remember how sick we felt after the first fried chicken mess video? Yeah! yeah. Let's do it again! Yeah! Let's do it again. yeah. 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 Woo! All right. Everyone, write down your guesses here. Take a card, take a card. There's actually a discount code for Mythical Kitchen Online. You guys can all take it as well. Uh, loser of today's episode has to do the chicken dance on camera, but like actually feel it. The way that Channing Tatum and Jenna Dewan, you could really feel their chemistry in the original Step Up. I want you to feel that within yourself for the chicken dance. Uh, okay. Okay. Okay, beautiful. Okay. Let's do it. Trevor, time is a flat circle. Everything we've ever done, we're just gonna do again, buddy. We're back. Yeah. We're back in the saddle. We're testing more fried chicken mess. And right now we're testing the actual wet dredge that goes into the flour. Woo! Because last time we did this originally, <laughs> I know it's a little crazy, yeah. right? We just did butt milk last time. Yeah, yeah. Right? Um, and uh, yeah. we did that because, I don't know, we, if people buttermilk brine, they often leave it in that, but most recipes actually call for whole egg here. Whoa. However, however, I got this crazy theory. I got a lot of theories. <laughs> Don't ask me about the E. coli outbreaks at, at Chipotle. Dark forces behind it. Um, but my theory is that egg whites are actually... <laughs> My personal theory is that egg whites are actually the best thing to dredge fried chicken in. And there's a lot of reasons why, right? Buttermilk has too much sugar in it. It's got a great job in that position. Buttermilk has too much sugar in it. So when you add it to the oil, it actually gets dark, right? Okay. Whole egg to me has too much fat in it. Fat is something that can prevent crispiness from happening. Egg white though is almost pure protein. Anybody who's been on a bodybuilding.com forum can tell you that. So to me, that's gonna get the cleanest crispiness. Yeah. But water, water. <laughs> That's what I wet dredge myself in, am I right? <laughs> I don't get it. It's like uh, bathing. You obviously don't get it. I, I bathe, I just don't wash my legs. The wet, the soap runs down on my legs. 
Water has been a trend on TikTok that we've been seeing, and I think what it does is actually mimics a bit of a wet batter, because it kind of just turns into a sludge with the flour. Some people think that's better. We're gonna try it. You ready to get to dredging? Yeah! yeah! You ready to watch Step Up 3D? 3D? They did a 3D one, all right, let's start doing it. So, the chicken, we got this. This has been uh, dry brining overnight in Thawney Sacheries. We're gonna get it into the flour, and then we're gonna get it into our wets, and then we're going back into the dry, as Trevor Check said. Uh, do, 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 do. Get it, because they're drums. Is that Rush? No, Phil Collins. Oh, you're right. Well, here's the thing. I oftentimes in these episodes don't go based on any real um, like thoughts. Yeah. I don't put any thought. I, I, it's like vibes. For you're me. less less thoughts, more vibes. Yeah, more vibes. I'm a vibe guy. You I know me. I've said that I'm I'm in in my post intellectual bimbo era, <laughs> and I fully believe that for myself. And I'm absolutely here for it. So life is so much more fun when you don't think. Yeah. You got a nice wet hand, dry hand going? Cause me too. Yeah, yeah, 100% too. I'm just, you're making biscuits on your fingers, man. man. Put them in an air fryer. Let me suck them off. No, I'm a fool. Trevor, I'm what a have fool. you done? I'm, I'm a fool. Done. I'm a fool. Shut it! Our scientific. Every single time we do this, we we, we cut rely it. on the cut scientific process, Trevor, to be consistent. Just cut around it. Can we cut around it? Cut around it. Post Taylor. Can we cut around it? And from the original busting fried chicken mess, we did learn that double dredging is the way to go. So we're following the same exact things. And now we're actually going to let these rest for an hour. Found out that that was better. Then we're going to get to frying. Trevor, you got to eat that, man. No wasted calories I here, buddy. I don't wanna. <laughs> Can I have it? Trevor, the chickens have been dredged. Yes, and rested. And rested for one hour. And since one we hour. are good scientists, we will yes. now observe our experiment. It, it is actually kind of, there's some noticeable differences. Like, especially on the water, I feel like it this yeah. looks a lot less craggy. These ones look a little bit chunkier. I think it's because the rate that like the water just absorbs flour. Yeah. Right, it doesn't like let it sit. There's no sort of like time release on it. You're just getting pure sludge in there, man. Mm -hmm. This is like a perfect sphere, which I don't think I want, but the proof <laughs> is gonna be right in the chicken. 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 Work. Can we take that back? Can we go back to the beginning? All right, I'm going whole egg first. You're gonna do a little oh. swiggity swooty. I'm little going little booter milk. Booter milk and oil. We're rocking somewhere between between 330 and 350 in peanut oil right here. This is what we did in the original. Anytime you drop chicken into a cast iron, a small amount of oil, it's gonna drop the temperature a little bit. Yeah. But not like us. Just like I'm dropping into this lunge here. Gotta we work on the glutes. Drop it like it's hot. Beach season, baby. Trevor, the chickens are cooked. Will you do the ceremonial blessing? Of the Tony Sacheries, please join me. Amen. And we got a new addition. We got the Tony Sacheries hot sauce officially. <laughs> um, any visual differences here that we're seeing? Yeah, a lot. Yeah, look a at lot. Look, look at that, that. bald ass water <laughs> one. Yeah, look. It looks like a killer whale. Hear, hear me out. Here, why does it look like an orca? Because they're smooth. I guess. I think porpoises are smooth. Anyways, because uh, <laughs> water, right, it's thinner, so you're just literally getting less flour absorbed. Whereas you look at like the egg white, see those nice big crags here? It's a little yeah. bit bald. I don't know if I love that. Buttermilk, sugar content burns in the fryer. That's why you're seeing a lot yeah. of that darkening right there, which mm -hmm. might be good. My art reaction, yada, yada. You've heard the science. We ain't no damn Alton Brown up in here. Mm -hmm. um, whole egg. Yeah. Probably most similar to egg white, right? See, this looks like, I mean, I don't know what they're doing at the at the Popeyes, but that <laughs> specific, like if you took just a small little square there and you mm -hmm. asked me to guess which fast food chain this chicken was from, I'd say Popeyes. Well, at Popeyes, the employees were trained like special forces units to stop people from fighting over their chicken sandwiches in the parking lot. <laughs> so they're doing a lot in there. Uh, <laughs> do you remember that? I, why am I making such 2019 ass references right now? Uh, <laughs> that's when I peaked. Uh, okay, uh, what do you try first? Buttermilk. 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 Buttermilk, oh God, I do love fried chicken. I'm gonna, no, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna wait until hot sauce. Do you think this is gonna be hot? I don't care. Oh, okay. Oh, God. Oh, God, that's good. Mm. Oh, 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 mm. oh. Mm -hmm. oh okay, wow. Okay. It's wet. No. Mm -hmm. yeah. You don't have to say yes. Ah, ah. There we go. As far as buttermilk goes, I don't mind the extra browning on it. That's kind of just good. You don't get that burnt caramel sugar taste. Yeah. I do think though, the batter's a little bit like not as crispy. It's a little bit hard, a little bit chewy. You're getting yeah. a little ball there. You're getting a little bit of doughiness inside. Buttermilk is really thick, but again, it doesn't have protein in it. So it's sort of not like seizing up. When you cook proteins, it seizes up. I mean, buttermilk just might be too wet, too thick. We'll see. Water, I'm gonna be so pissed off if this wins. I'm, I'm gonna, <laughs> oh my God. I'm gonna rush and judge the hell out of this. Okay, all right. Okay. Oh, damn. 
Oh, damn it. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. That is very crispy. Hold the hell on. It's papery thin, but it's very crispy. What? It is, no, they, and that's literally, so water, anytime you add water to a recipe, if you add heat to that, water evaporates, right? Mm -hmm. And so literally, you're getting more moisture and it's coming almost like a wet batter consistency mm -hmm. on it, but I guess it makes sense. And if you like a lighter batter crispy chicken, that's probably pretty good for you. Egg white, now this is America. <laughs> you see, you see this? This is just a big old dough ball on the end of the chicken. That is gonna mm -hmm. crunch so hard and I'm so excited. I'm ready. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. This is a quarter. Oh, God. Ah. 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 I need to cool it down. <laughs> Whole egg might be similar, but it, it does look, like you can feel that it's soggier. Let yeah. me feel that it's soggier compared to this. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's not, so good. I'm it's not fleshy enough, though, how freaking good all of these are when it comes down to it. Holy juice. Holy juice, Batman! It's coming right off here! Sorry, that was not even good. That wasn't even like a good bit. That was bad. Can we go back to the beginning of this episode? <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna leave that in. Again, all these are really good. Water was a surprise, pretty good change of pace experience, mm -hmm. but quintessential Southern American fried chicken. Yeah. We're going egg white. Mm hmm. You know what that means, Trevor? What is that? That means this myth has been, been munched! Oh, and I've, and I've been munching. Oh, the juice. This yeah. is our first time together. Oh. Oh. And we would be bonding over fried chicken because we just make so much of it. I'm so excited to eat fried chicken with you. Uh, here and there, here and there. <laughs> okay, so we are testing the myth that you should fry your fried chicken in batches versus overcrowding the pan because you want your fried chicken to basically brown evenly, right? Yes, and I think that the when you add the chicken in crowds, the oil will drop in temperature. Right. And it might just absorb the oil rather than mm. like crisping it properly. Mm -hmm. So let's see how this goes. All right, so we can go ahead and drop our drums in there. <sighs> how much fried chicken do you really cook, Lily? I actually made some the other day. Uh, <laughs> but when? Uh, oh, for your man. <laughs> yeah. You I, made some on the TikTok. I made some on the TikTok. <laughs> I did see that. I have 40 followers. Oh, follow me on TikTok. so proud of you. Yeah. You're gonna get like three more after this. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> So we started at 350 mm -hmm. degrees. This has already dropped down to 300 degrees. And where are we at on this side? We are, we're at 330. Ooh. So this has dropped in temperature quite a bit. Yeah. Um, but we're gonna, we're gonna let them keep scoot over and stay up. warm in the jacuzzi. Yes, in the jacuzzi. So we're gonna go ahead and let these cook in the oil, fry them up, and we will be right back. See ya. V, we made fried chicken. Yes, we did. We have our crowding and we have our batches. Let's Dang. look at the visual differences. They look really similar, honestly. They do look similar. We used the egg white winner, mm -hmm. but this, like you can see right here that it's missing a craggly bit. And yeah. I think it's because they were like rubbing against each other and right. they were touching. So basically the cuddling bits. in there. Yeah, they yeah. were cuddling and mm -hmm. their parts were like falling off of each other. So mm, yeah, <laughs> you, <laughs> they must be on Love Island. Also, I noticed that you pulled these like two minutes earlier than these ones. Yeah, I sure did. It almost felt like this was cooking a little bit slower though, and this one was cooking a little bit faster, but maybe still they're like warming about the each same. other up or something. Maybe. All Let's right. Let's try them. Okay. Which one do you want to try first? Let's do crowding. Okay. Wait, do we do we put Tony C's on it? Do we put a little Tony C's yeah. on it? Okay, okay, wait, wait. I'm gonna okay. just put oh it gosh, in Oh gosh, you're hand. really, I'm gonna start coughing. <laughs> Oh, that's so good. Okay, thank you. So it doesn't much. look like I put anything on there, but I oh, promise I see, you yeah. I did, okay? Oh, God, it's so hot. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Uh, I can't eat um, But I'm good fried chicken. Yeah. It's tasty, it's juicy, it's nice. Mm -hmm. This one? Mm hmm. Uh, I can't. I can't I'm gonna cry. cry. I'm gonna if you're like in a pinch, yeah, these took two minutes longer to cook, but you have two more drums. Yeah. And these each took like around 14 minutes to cook. Mm -hmm. So I think it might be for the crowding. Yeah, like the I am trying to save time. I don't have all day. And right. I'm like, as long as you don't make like two layers of chicken, like you just have them all evenly, just flat on yeah. in the pan, then you'll be good. Yeah, you can don't still make put it work. Like 20 in a pan, but if they're if you're like doubling the amount, yeah. depending on the size of your pan, well, you come to a decision that you should crowd your pan and it works just as fine as batches. So this miss has been much. Oh, we gotta talk about.
about that egg roll, fatty, fatty boombalatty right here. What yeah. fat do you fry your chicken in? We have been going peanut oil for a while. To me, I've always thought of it as the cleanest flavor. And if you want the tawny sashries to really shine through, you put it in the cleanest flavored oil. Yeah. Peanut oil, pretty high smoke point, rocking up above 400. Yeah. But what have I told you? There's a lot of people out there. I think you should be using Crisco. Now Crisco, it's like lard, but it's made from vegetables. Okay. Right, so it's a fully hydrogenated palm oil. You combine liquid fat with hydrogen molecules. Hydrogen bonds, of course, very okay. strong. That turns your fat from unsaturated to saturated, but not necessarily trans fats. That comes from partially hydrogenated oils. So this is gonna have a longer shelf life. You're gonna reduce the oxidative properties of liquid oil, Trevor, holy crap. In the finished product, there's a chance that this lays heavy on it because when it cools down, it re-solidifies. Okay. But some say it'll actually give them more even fry. And then we got lard. Tell, tell, tell them about lard. Lard, uh, well, it comes from Farmer John. Yeah. And what he does is he, um, he goes to the lard tree and he peels off a piece of bark and he yeah. sticks the spigot in. And then he turns the thing and then out pours the lard and he collects it uh, into a little bucket. And then he goes to his home and he takes it and he starts caressing it and shaping it into this little rectangle. Mm -hmm. um, and he puts his love into it. And that's how you get How hard. does he put his love into it? Describe it in, de in detail the process here. Um. So uh, lard used to be a really important source of, sh I'm giving a history lesson, let's just lean into it. Lard used to be a really important source of fuel and other things, but then the drop in demand for lard actually changed, and between 1950 and 1970, pigs were actually bred to have about 50% less lard, leading to leaner breeds of Yorkshires in America, and also the pork the other white meat campaign to market pork as healthy. Not even listening. The kids these days, they have so much ADHD because they're always on their phones, they're scrolling through their little ticky talkies there's no culture. Anyways, Trevor, we're back, we're back, I'll stop. What are you doing? Are you playing, is that? Geometry is that, Dash. Is that Flappy Bird? Geometry Dash. What is Geometry Dash? It's a good game. Someone, you someone made me die. Give him a sugar cube <laughs> so we can stay focused. Trevor, we're normal men. We're innocent men. We're innocent men, and we have six chicken drumsticks in front of us. Two that have been fried in peanut oil, two in Crisco, two in lard. Um, if we look at them, we fried them for the same amount of time mm -hmm. at the same heat, mm -hmm. pulled in the same. Peanut got a little bit darker, maybe because it has a slightly lower smoke point than the others, but yeah. it, honestly, we, we might've just like fried it a lot. We're not perfect. I know you think of us as like perfect, yeah. classically trained, technical yeah. chefs who are very serious. Mm -hmm. cool. uh, all right, we're gonna dust it a little bit of Tony <laughs> Dust yeah, it. Light dusting on there. <laughs> what? Yeah. Uh, let's dig in. What do you think's gonna happen? Uh, it looks like it looks like <coughs> worst to best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tony Sashi's got in the lungs. Let's ones. start with lard. I'll start with lard. Give it a I smell. Hate lard. Uh, let's dig in. Look at him. <laughs> There's a cooking term that not a lot of people recognize, but I do called pig stink. <laughs> There's like a pig stink. It's the reason that in a lot of like Chinese dishes, you blanch your pork, you know, before you braise it. Yeah. Because it gets rid of the pig stink and lard, just pure pig stink. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Great go. Great go. Great go. Feels similar. Maybe a little bit crispier. I feel like the lard did get a little sog. Yeah. Let's dive in. This is great. Yeah, good job. Love it. No complaints. Suck in through your mouth. Go. Wait, no, let me do it like the weekend in the idol. Suck in through your mouth. Mm -mm, no. <laughs> I hate both of those. Um, this better be good. This better be good. This better be good. <laughs> Feel it. Yeah. yeah. Feel it. Stop! What? I haven't even seen the show. I've just seen so screenshots. Bad. Oh my god, don't watch it. Nah. Please, the love of God. Okay. Yeah! Got the walk yeah. off! Got the yeah. walk off! Yeah. Peanut oil is a clear, clear, clear winner in this. And Trevor, you know what that means? This myth munched us. <laughs> myth munchers. Yeah. Yeah. How are you feeling? I feel Pretty a gre yeah, yeah. greasy. greasy. You've been eating the chicken off camera too, right? Yeah. Same. Can't yeah. stop myself. Can't stop. Can't stop. Well, we are finally at the terminus, we've reached the end. Mm -hmm. Now we got the final myth here. This is like, what should you actually dredge your chicken in? What kind of starch are we using? Typical American Southern fried chicken, mostly uses AP flour. If you say go to the Panda Express, actually a lot in uh, you know Chinese Chinese cooking as well, they're dredging it with cornstarch. Korean fried chicken uses a lot of rice flour and also potato starch generally. So we've taken AP flour and then cut that with cornstarch, rice flour, potato starch, because we've used pure potato starch in the past and it does not taste good. But are there things you can cut your flour with to make it better? Which one do you want to eat first, man? Well, do you want to give Original. Normal? Yeah, oh yeah, Trevor, please. And can you do the chant this time? The Tony Sashri's chant? Okay. Mm -hmm. Tony, 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 Tony,
<laughs> Everyone grab a chicken. Last one. Okay. Last no, chicken. It's not the, the last one. It's like the fourth. Last yeah. four. God. Chickens unite. You guys ever see the bit in The Simpsons where Homer goes to hell and the devil's force feeding him donuts and he just can't stop eating the donuts? It's it tastes like the backyard. Okay. I'm at auntie's house. Mm -hmm. Auntie's so good. Thank you all for, for joining us, for cooking, you know. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, corn <laughs> starch. <clears throat> I don't think anything's gonna beat AP flour. That's my official diagnosis. Mm. Really, I am a doctor. You never know. Oh, corn starch looks really good. So a benefit mm. about corn starch, corn starch absorbs liquid, I think even better than AP flour. You can see it is like more powdery, right? AP flour is a little bit coarser. There's no gluten in it. And so you're also gonna get like a finer coating. I don't know though. It's like, wow. It's like a heavier crunch, but it's still really crunchy. Hold the phone. Hmm. What I want to go back. Which, one, which yeah, one's yeah, mine? This one's mine. You can have a bite of it. No, this buy all of them. Just buy one of each. It doesn't matter. We've no. shared so many germs with each other. It does not matter at this point. I don't know. We got to taste the other ones still. Take the other one. Okay. Right, we'll go back. Everybody remember your chickens. Put them in my pocket. Mine's at the bottom. <laughs> oh. Annalise, not now. It looks like you have the little mariachi sticks in there. Ooh, it makes me warm down there. <laughs> oh, that's sick. This is... It looks reddish. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a different Look color. Looks like something happened to it. <laughs> something happened to it in the fryer. The rice flour is super dark. I'm thinking maybe rice flour has more Sounds like natural sugar in it, if that's the case. But I feel like I've struggled it's to get so browning hot. in rice flour. My teeth don't want to bite it. I know. Uh, it's so hot. Oh, God! Fudge! <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Well, this is good. Here, we're going back. I've eliminated rice flour. Lily, do you think rice flour could win this? Do you no, think? because no? you know what? There's this like kind of the rice flour, Powdery like, coating, right? yeah. Mm -hmm. But I do like the crunch of it, but I'm, I'm not going to say it's the winner. There's honestly a chance that if you cut it to a different ratio, I think a potato starch is going to be awful. I hate potato really? starch. Really? This I looks good to me. No, I do. It's going to be powdery in your mouth. It's going to turn to sludge. Mm -hmm. I see what you mean now. Feel, no. feel the sludge in your mouth and the potato starch rehydrating. I don't know what's wrong spit. with your mouth, but my mouth is not sludgy. My, I have the moistest mouth in the West, okay? Yeah. That's nothing yeah, to be proud of. Mouth. I'm very anti-potato starch. To me, it's chalky. It gets like sludgy in your mouth. It's heavy. It absorbs more oil, I think. Even look at the way. This is on a draining rack, right? Mm -hmm. And we're just getting excess oil on the outside. I'm like very anti-potato starch. To me, I think this is a two-horse race between my pants chicken. Oh, right that now. one got deep in there. Thank you. Everybody put the, your hand over the one you think should win. Okay. On four. Wait. What? Really? Right. Oh, yeah. On three. On three. No, on three. No, on three. One, two, three. Two for. Okay. Who said? Nicole, tiebreaker. Come here. We need another mouth. Nicole, okay. do you consent to eating half-eaten chicken? Hell yeah. <laughs> I'll eat that. Okay. AP flour. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. There's this one if you want that one. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. In the flour. AP flour wins! Yeah! There you have it. Hey, that means that this myth munched us! us! With our special guest star, Nicole. Give it up for Nicole. Woo! Bye. <laughs> okay, myth munchers, let us see who wins. Yeah, just to reiterate what we've done today, we tested the myth that you gotta dredge your fried chicken in whole eggs. We tested water buttermilk. Turns out egg whites really give you the crispiest fried chicken. We tested out cooking your chicken in batches versus crowding the pan and found out that a reasonable amount of crowding, as long as you're not double layering it, really does allow you to cook more chicken for more people faster. Don't be too afraid of crowding your pan as long as the oil doesn't overflow on it. Then we tested peanut versus Crisco versus lard. Found out that pig stink is pretty overwhelming when it comes to fried chicken. Crisco makes your mouth feel funny and peanut oil, that's the Goldilocks oil right there. Finally, dredging AP flour versus cornstarch, rice flour, and potato starch. It was really close, honestly. You can use any of these and make good fried chicken, but pure AP flour is our way to go. <laughs> I'm out of breath from talking a little bit fast. Trevor. Hi, I'm Trevor, and I guessed whole egg crowding peanut and potato starch. I got two right. You got two right. I Trevor's in the lead. I spit on Lily by accident. I'm really sorry. No, you Trevor. gross. Trevor, do you want to press charges against Lily for spitting on him? I want to press charges. Thank you. <laughs> Lily sucks. <laughs> Lily, what'd you guess? I said whole egg batch Crisco potato. Bok bok. I got zero. <laughs> <laughs> Lily, I'm sorry. It's not a joke, and we overreacted. I got spit on, and I failed. <laughs> <laughs> Mind your childhood, all right, B, what do you got? Whole egg, batches, peanut, cornstarch. Uno! Uno! Yeah, it's hard to be 
need zero. I said egg white batches, peanut, AP flour. Um, I got three right, making me, wow. I think, the official winner for the first time ever in Midlander's history. Please oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Good job. Please Good clap. Job. Please clap. And Lily, I, I, that makes you the loser. That means you gotta do the chicken dance. While we're doing the outro, you gotta do the chicken dance right now. Do it. Oh, what did we learn today? Did we learn? Did we learn intricate methods about fried chicken cookery? Sure. Did we learn things about what Trevor's mouth do? We did a little bit, but I think what we really learned is that fried chicken is the great unifier. You know, no matter which side of the political spectrum you're on, you know, whether you're Jeb Bush asking people to clap or you're Nancy Reagan doing, God knows what she was doing in Hollywood in the 1970s, um, everybody likes fried chicken, you know? From one corner of the globe, from Mozambique to Mali to Mauritania to Mauritius to Morocco to Mongolia, all the way back to Madagascar. <laughs> and Malta. It's a different kind of chicken dance. The world, <laughs> the world loves fried chicken. I love the world, and most importantly, I love you. I don't you. like it. Stay crispy out there, friends. I don't like that chicken dance. And when in doubt, I don't like it. Chicken it, chicken it. Uh, can I, I go home? I don't like that. Can we go home now? I don't like that chicken dance. I can't breathe. I don't like that. I can't breathe. I haven't looked at Lily once. I have no idea what's happening. I don't like that chicken dance. Thank you for dance. liking, subscribing, commenting. If you haven't done any of those things, please do that. And please uh, subscribe to Lily's TikTok. Lily, what's your handle? I don't know. It has numbers in it. Great. Great <laughs> plug, Lily. Awesome at doing social media. We'll see you all next time. Hey, you. Cook up your own feast while wearing the Mythical Kitchen Apron. Available now at mythical.com.